your number one source for local news. News Channel 3. All right, been a beautiful day across the Mid-South area. A little bit of a different view for this evening. A good evening from the News Channel 3 backyard. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik out here on the former chopper pad. A little bit on the dark side for this evening. Didn't have any spotlights out here, so I'm using some of the security lights out across the area. Why are we doing this from out here? Well, for a couple of reasons. Number one, it's just too nice of a night to actually stay indoors. Looking out across parts of downtown at this time, seeing some of the building lights light up and beautiful out here with a little bit of a breeze, very dry air in place, and no major problems seen with weather across the Mid-South area for this evening. If you haven't seen it just yet, this is also pretty cool. I'm going to turn the camera around so you can take a little bit of a better look at this. I don't know if I'm going to be able to zoom in or not. There we go. That is the lights of Big River Crossing into over the Mississippi River. The bright light over here on the area close to uh, the screen is the light security light from the Church of the River. But if you look a little bit farther back over, getting that to come into view, the lights have been turned on for Big River Crossing. And it's a beautiful evening to take a look at those. We can't wait to see all the other lights that they have planned to uh, show you at that point in time. Kind of difficult to see. You might be able to look just right above uh, the lights if I can get my focus to actually work here. I'm like the guy in the projection booth shouting focus and at trying to get things ready to go. Mars visible just on the horizon out that direction. Uh, might as well just turn this back around. It looks like it's going to stay a little bit on that. Let's see if we can do it this direction. Uh, here for right now looking up and above the area from the lights right up in and around this area notice kind of a bright point of light up there and that is the planet Mars uh, out there so you can see that in the west if you're lucky looking out into and around uh, the area tonight up and to the northwest we're looking back over uh, the direction back over my shoulder toward the Hernando de Soto bridge out there in the darkness in the northwest area tonight that is where you might be able to see some remnant meteors out here that's a good possibility to be able able to see some of that. The Draconid meteor shower is going on up into the northwestern sky. That's where you're going to want to take a look for the constellation of Draco the Dragon. Goes right between the Big Dipper and the North Star. So again, you can see anything a way of meteors taking place. It's not a huge meteor shower, but you might be able to see at least a few of them out there. A great opportunity to get your kids out, especially on a night like this. There's barely any clouds. Weather's cooperating. It's a great night to get out and do some stargazing with the kids. And that's partly why I'm out here for tonight, not just talking about anything in the way of just general astronomy or the view of over the river for tonight. Going to try to get some pictures of that coming up here in just a little bit. Thanks to everybody for tuning in for this evening. Everybody's showing up uh, on the feed right now. But for tonight, this is the reason that I'm out here. Tonight is International Observe the Moon Night. And as you can see, up above way up there. That is the first quarter moon above the roof of the News Channel 3 studios. And it's a great night to get out there with a pair of binoculars or if you've got a telescope or you know anybody around uh, the area of astronomical means, you might want to see if they have that telescope available out there. Hagen saying hello to uh, everybody for this evening. Shirley Guthrie Nayas, Cynthia Salmon, Daniel Gray, great evening here too. And Nancy Bell and Lauren Alvera. Thanks a lot for tuning in for tonight. International Observe the Moon Night. If you'd like to see more about that, it's on my Facebook page and a great opportunity to learn more there. Just the opportunity to get out and take a look at what is going on in the night sky to where you would be able to, to observe with your kids and your family what's going on up that direction. Some of you may be sitting there and saying, well, why do we need to have that type of thing? There's all kinds of crazy holidays. We don't need to have anything like that added on to it. Well, it's just an opportunity to be able to go Go out and observe. You get away from the TV, from the computer for a little bit, go out on a night like this, and you've got some incredible weather to be able to see what's going on. And this is going to be a great night for a little bit of moon gazing out there. It's in first quarter mode. Uh, if you can just barely see to the lower right there at about the five o'clock position, either that's Mars or Saturn. I'm going to have to double check which one that is, uh, but a beautiful evening to catch a little bit of stars out there and a great opportunity to be able to see a little bit more about what's going on in the night skies. This is what I grew up with, being able to take a look and see what is actually out there to where I was only had a few hours of TV per day, thankfully, 
and this is a great opportunity to do more about studying weather and science and getting the kids outdoors to be able to see more about what is available out there. So on International Observe the Moon Night, it's a great opportunity for you to take a look and see just what exactly is going on in the night sky and get the kids interested in more things than just you, the astronomy that you can find online. It's a great opportunity to learn about stuff online if at all possible, but it's an opportunity for you to get out and just reestablish yourself with a little bit of science out there. So International Observe the Moon Night. Take a look at my Facebook page uh, for more information on that. And you can more get the details and also pictures on Twitter. People are sending in a great amount of pictures from what was going on from the meteor shower last night and then also from International Observe the Moon Night. And if you've got pictures, send them along. Tweet them to me at Aonic underscore WREG3 and love to see some pictures of the moon. If you've got any sunset pictures out there for tonight, just go ahead and send those along. I'd be glad to share them with everybody uh, if at all possible. We're out in the backyard. If you're just tuning in and wondering what's going on, that behind me is the News Channel 3 studio building down here on the river on 803 Channel 3 Drive from what it looks like uh, down here just up above Martyrs Park and just to the east of the Mississippi River. Nice little backyard area we can come back out here and do live shots and things for live at nine uh, in, this, in this general area but we can also set up uh, for the telescope and be able to see a few nice things uh, out and across parts of the Mid-South area from downtown area. This is also a good spot to observe the International Space Station which did not go overhead at any point in time for this evening so wasn't able to see that but once again a very nice view of of tonight's first quarter moon and hopefully you get a chance to get out and explore a little bit more astronomy for International Observe the Moon Night just to be able to take a look and see that it's a gorgeous evening out here for a little bit more astronomy and again meteors from the Draconid meteor shower are out there would love to be able to stay out here and just watch for that but unfortunately I'm gonna to have to get back inside again here in just a little bit to take a look and see what's going on with the weather and get ready for a possible late edition of News Channel 3 at 10. The Tennessee-Texas game ran over uh, by just a little bit, so we may be on a little bit on the late side for tonight. Also in the way of astronomy, if you live in and around northern Mississippi, don't forget that the University of Mississippi will be holding a free open house on Sunday night. That's tomorrow at Kennan Observatory on the Ole Miss campus. That happens at about 7 o'clock, roughly about a little bit after sundown. They're going to be observing that where to go? See, let's see, up there. There we go. They're going to be observing that right there. The moon will be seen through the Kennan Observatory uh, telescopes and be able to observe some different parts of the sky with star clusters, nebulae, other galaxies, things like that. So if you live around northern Mississippi, head to the Ole Miss campus on Sunday evening. That's tomorrow night at about this time. Skies should be relatively clear, maybe a few more clouds coming on through, but otherwise not doing too bad for viewing conditions. Again, that's Kennan Observatory on the University of Mississippi campus. Totally free, uh, weather permitting. If they decide to cancel it, we'll bring you that information as best as we possibly can. But kids and families are welcome to attend. And It'll be starting about 7 o'clock and thanking everybody at the University of Mississippi Department of Physics and Astronomy for sending that information in so that I can bring it along to everybody else if at all possible. But free tomorrow night, 7 o'clock. And also, again, thanking the Memphis Astronomical Society for sending in uh, the information about their meetings. Hope everything went well on Friday night. I would love to attend the meetings, but unfortunately, that's past my bedtime before I get up and get going for uh, early on Saturday morning. More information about astronomy. I tend to post a little bit more about that than weather sometimes, but I am an, ast uh, an astronomy geek and very much a science geek to begin with, so you're going to see a lot of that at various points in time out there. Before tonight, it just seemed like uh, too nice of a night to actually not get up and take a look and see what's... Yes, we can hear... All right, thank you very much. You can see a little bit of the moon for tonight and also definitely a few planets out there. Uh, Heavens-above.com, a great place to go to. Uh, Earthsky.org, if you want to take a look and see what's going on uh, in and around the area, to plug in your location and see about which satellite you just saw or which planet that is out there in the distance. Uh, at the various points in time of the night. That's a great place to go to. NASA has a ton of stuff to go to uh, to take a look at what's going on. SpotTheStation.com, if I'm not mistaken. Good opportunity to see more about International Space Station stuff. 
as well. And of course, there's plenty of places around the Mid South. Uh, MemphisAstro.org for the Memphis Astro Astronomical Society, and many other places available around the Mid South area, including the open houses at the University of Mississippi coming up tomorrow. So once again, International Observe the Moon Night, not just another silly holiday. Good opportunity for you to get out there and take a look at what's going on with the moon and astronomy. Get your kids interested in things. Get them off from the computer, from the television set for just a little while, and come outside and see what's going on out here. And again, if you've got pictures, anything like Big River Crossing out there, as we see the lights on the bridge finally begin to light up, the opening of the bridge will be in two weeks or so. Can't wait for that to happen and bring you updates on that and hopefully weather cont continues to be not too much of a problem. We'll have an update on what you sent in of your pictures in just a little bit. Uh, Sarah Wemmick, can we, can we list those websites after we post this? Yes, we will be posting those and I refer to those a lot on my Facebook and Twitter pages for events going on so you can catch a lot of that on there. So we'll definitely be having that coming up uh, a little bit later on. Updates on News Channel 3 at 10, some of your pictures if you send them in and also an update on on the wildfire situation across the Mid-South. Things are very dry and it's not getting any better and wildfire could be increasing across much of the Mid-South as we go throughout the course of the next several days and weeks. So you can't really see it with the light situation out here for right now, but the backyard area is getting very dry as is a lot of the Mid-South and that means that a stray spark from a unattended barbecue pit or a welding torch or yeah, even that cigarette butt that gets tossed out of the car, which is not a good thing. Again, also for the possible for just litter purposes and makes things look better. Keep the cigarette butts in the car, avoid the possibility of a wildfire, something to keep an eye on there, and keep the Mid-South a little cleaner and hopefully a little bit less smoke-filled. We'll have an update on the forecast tonight on News Channel 3 at 10 Late Edition, and Todd Demers will be on bright and early on daybreak for Sunday morning. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik from the News Channel 3 backyard. Any other questions, send them along to austin.onik at wreg.com, and keep it updated on Facebook, Twitter, and all my other social media pages. Thanks for joining me tonight live from the backyard.